Good morning, Candace Carter, Thoughts to Go. As I said last week, I will be reading from my utopian novel, Wir retten die Welt. I wrote the novel in German, and this video is for me to tell you the story in English. I am learning to be a storyteller, so stay with me. This time I have uh, some notes <laughs> to read from. And this is now the start, and this is the prologue to my book, Wir retten die Welt. Wir retten die Welt, We Save the World, is the story of the adventures of Pascal, the narrator, and his friends that result in the world not only being saved, but also transformed. However, at the time our narrator is telling the story, he is no longer the boy Pascal. The transformation of the world has, of course, also transformed its inhabitants. In the world of the narrator, there has ceased to be a difference between organic and unorganic, mater inorganic material. All is alive, and the spirit of one individual can leave its body to visit the body and spirit of another, referred to as the host. If one visits a tree, for example, the tree will pass on all the information leading up to the tree being a tree. But a being can just as well visit a coffee cup or a table and learn how the cup became a cup, the table a table. The only restriction is that beings of the same species, construction, or source cannot visit one another. No bee, another bee. No house, another house. No human, another human. Over time, however, human beings have mastered the art of telepathy. How this came about is part of the story. And because the narrator witnessed and played a major role in the great changes, the global telepathic network has asked him via his telepathic mind to share the story of the events leading up to the world being saved. In the age of the narrator, time is no longer considered to be like a line moving from the past to the present to the future. Still, the narrator chooses to use the old chronological reckoning as a tool for creating a more vivid feeling of the time of the great changes, defining the events he was a part of as taking place 300 years in the past. The story begins in the 20th century with the irreparable global damage, two world wars, the Cold War, and the vie for power between capitalism and socialism produced. Eventually, capitalism prevails over socialism, but power plays, environmental injustices, and resource wars continue to rage. And with time, the global society is basically reduced to the havings and the not havings. The havings sink into mindless, immoral, and unethical consume materialism, while the basic unfulfilled human needs by the not havings lead to upheavals, terror, and dictatorships. As was the fate of earlier slave and feudal societies, capitalism, no longer able to cope with the social and environmental structures of its own construction, begins to lose its grip on power. Only the money institutions recognize the global opportunity of the hour. International emerging, they join forces to create what they call the VB. The VB subversively manipulates the needs of the poor and the greed of the rich while luring individuals, nations, and industry into more debt leading to global bankruptcy. At first, the not havings are given better health care and work while media propaganda brainwashes them into faithful gratitude for the wise leadership of the VB. By the havings, Structures and laws defining human rights and responsibilities are eventually replaced with those securing only 
the hedonistic addictions of the individual. With time, the wish for relationships or family ties, for education, religion, or moral issues have been suppressed and forgotten. By the year 2050, the VB has gained global control and nations, whether democracies or dictatorships, no longer exist. What does exist is an efficient, ingeniously structured two caste system. The havings have become the okays, in German, the obere Kaste, while the not havings, the UKs, also unter Kaste, are forced to live as slaves. The VB is convinced she can cement her reign indefinitely with the aid of her three pillars of power, high tech, sex, and drugs. To be continued next week. See you then. Bye-bye.